Right, so we wait for confirmation okay. the audio. <coughs> click that, click that, and then we wait to hear. If you have a Guinness t-shirt on. Yep. Is that Guinness t-shirt? Yes, yes it is. I think I've got everything Guinness I've ever made, because my mum will buy me Guinness apparel, but not Guinness, because she doesn't drink. So I've got a Guinness clock, I Guinness like, cut. I like Guinness. Guinness but, mug. But once you I've tried better. Yeah, that's the problem. But it just is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's just a pint of Strongbow in... It, you yeah, know, you know, it's, a, it's, a it's strongbow, the same everywhere. It's a Strongbow stout, isn't it? Yeah. You've oh, tried it. Bob can hear us. It's the same everywhere. 4pm in Mr. the US. Mr. Dion was watching the football. What football was it? I don't even know. It's was Euro, it Belgium? Euro balls, isn't it? Euro, uh, Who was playing, though? I mean, we're not playing, are we? A couple of foreign teams. Bloody foreigners. That's the best line. In Thin Blue Line, the sitcom. It's, uh, Ron, uh, Ryan Atkinson's character goes, uh, you'd be bored watching Olivier play Hamlet. And he, uh, and Inspector Green goes, well, I don't like football. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the foreign teams. I even know, I don't know all the characters' names, but I even know that's the character with the bald head and the moustache. Yeah, he's a character. Yes. That's it was he a, was in it Four Wed Inns. Pretty it? weak sitcom, but uh, he was a pretty good character. He was in um, that ass- female assassin thing, wasn't he? Yes. He gets killed on the first Yeah, thing. he's done a few decent stuff. Yeah, he's quite good. He's a, he's a bit of a character actor, but he's good. Anyway, they can hear us, so we better... Uh, Let's rock and roll! Welcome, we are live, it's the new show, chapter 65, 65. Steve Devil Vapor in chat, Paul Ibsen in chat, Ali's in, Patrick's in, Dion's in, Frank Miser, Bob, Dan, Andy, everyone's in there, everyone's in there, everybody, and uh, it's just the two of us this evening, no special guest, although Johnny's quite special, (laughs) Uh, and uh, but with even without a guest, it is going to be a jam packed packed. show, absolutely jam packed as well. All the jams and actions uh, have been packed into this. Uh, we've got guaranteed stuff and things, so yeah, do things, hold stuff, wait for that. Smash the like button. Someone's already disliked it, so if you could, <laughs> if you could cancel Counter that out with it. the old yeah. thumbs up, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, yes, so uh, if people could do that. Uh, how are people still green? Uh, I need to fix that. Um, but yes, so yeah, we got all the stuff. We got news from around the world, vaping news from around the universe. It is all around the universe. Yeah. Um, and we've got some new stuff. Because we weren't on last week, there's more new stuff than normal, which is good. And yes. uh, me and John are vaping on new stuff as well. Yes. Not new to us. Uh, so we will chat about that as well. How warm is it in your room? It is fucking warm. <laughs> it's not as bad here today. It was a little bit cloudier today. Oh, no, it's fucking boring. It's been lovely, though. Lovely dry spell. Can't um, make, can't make, can't make. So all of that stuff. Uh, what are you drinking and Ooh. what are you vaping, John? I am drinking on um, this one. It's a new one, I think, to me. Life, Life and Death. Life and Death, are you joking? <laughs> yes. Uh, by vocation. Look, it's oh, pale, isn't it? It does look pale. It's probably just the fucking light. I look pale, in it? Yep. Right now, I don't. Right now, I, three or four villagers turned up yesterday with a blazing torch and said I had to show my passport. I said that my name is them. Yeah, you called John. It's not enough. It's not enough. That's one of those names you just pick, wouldn't you? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. If you're going to, um, there's I a West Indian got... cricket player called Dave Mohammed. Oh, that's quite good. It's nice. It's, sort of, it's, it's, quite... it's a beautiful fusion. You get that, Sri Lanka they do that though as well. They get, you can get like a middle name like Douglas. That's no reason at all. In, in, the, in the Caribbean, all the sur, well, not all, but majority of surnames are first names, aren't they? Yeah, that's because of, that's that's just it, bad history. It, yeah, they adopted their slave name as their second name or whatever, did they? Yeah, well, or my. The family, the family that they were enslaved by. Yeah, so my great great grandfather was called Daniel and he was West Indian. I don't think his name was Daniel, but my granddad's middle name, he didn't know because he was quite racist. <laughs> he was actually named after his West Indian. 
great grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Sparkly um, names. Yeah. <clears throat> we, the reason was we found out my great great granddad was West Indian is because he was arrested the day after marrying his white wife <laughs> for marrying a white woman. Racist. And I always imagine because it was off me Wigan. I imagine like the priest going to her like, "Do you take Mildred B. Up and do you take Daniel Lodge to be your lawfully wedded husband?" And she went, "I do." And he went, "Are you sure?" Are you absolutely certain? They couldn't nick <laughs> him there and then, though, because that's no. entrapment. The police was out of the back watching. Watch okay, we'll wait till we've sung all things bright and beautiful, then I'm going to fucking have him. <clears throat> um, so I've got vocation in there. I have got uh, lemon crack in the in the, in the in the Toir 16 on top of the Chroma R. The reason it's on top of the Chroma R is because I finally destructed the MVP5. Oh, what happened? Dropped it. It looks better on there anyway. Yeah, it does. But I dropped it and it um, pivoted <laughs> and it's kind of went, it still was firing, but just sideways. Mm. Um, but I thought they were indestructible, it turns out. The 510's the weak point. It's the same 510, it's the Anakin 510. It is, uh, it is, the 510's aren't great. I don't think they make any claims about it being durable. No, no, but it looks it, doesn't it? It looks yeah, it rugged. Does, yeah. it looks but like a not. Bridge. Yeah, but it's, I've broken it. I was feeling I'm really quite annoyed because I use the torch quite a lot anyway. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Does it not still work as a torch? Yeah, I'd have to have like an atomizer hanging off the end of it. Not more than a torch. Uh, disconnect the 510. I don't need a torch. You just said you do. <laughs> not, no, I'm not going to walk around. That's what people in the village <laughs> do. Torch. They walk their dog with a torch. It's like yeah, the weirdest thing. Like miners like, <laughs> yeah, mine and lamps. That's to hide their knob. <laughs> they shouldn't even be in the park yeah. right not without a dog <laughs> suspicious I am vaping on uh, what is it called it's a. It's made by the one and it's called a barrel two this is it it's the barrel it's a, it's a pod because I know you okay. guys are going to be excited yeah. but you can pull the coil out and everything um, this is 0.3 um Resistance at 30 watts, but you can mouse along it, it's all right. I've got a cactus lychee in there. So, are you giving it the full 30 then? Yeah, because it's 0.3. If you don't, what are you going to get? Mm, not a lot. It's not hot because the whole thing is plastic, so you don't get not, yeah. there's no heat transfer, so it's not too bad. It's a bit of a uh, it'll keep me going. Um, lovely. Um, Richard, what are you vaping? What are you drinking? Right, I've just finished a pint of cider, as it goes. What was it? What cider? Oh, I don't know, Thatcher's. Fucking hell, it's too sweet. It is too sweet, yeah. we got many, we got a few Thatcher's drinkers, but it's too sweet. I didn't care, it's down south, isn't it? Yeah, but no. in, I wanted a, a two-litre bottle, or whatever it is, two-litre bottle. Yeah. And they're, the choice of those. Oh, that's true. Why don't they do a Magnus two-litres? Because Magnus is dry enough that you can add it. I don't know. pounds for half a pint, isn't it? They don't want to ruin their... Uh, Status. Moving on to you can get, sorcery. You can get, you can get one litres of Aspals, by the way. Sorcery is a good choice. Can you? Yeah, they do. The the, the, the crew is good. And then, and, then, and, then, and then this, after that. Or what have you got after that? This. After that. I don't know. Chasers. That's two. Um, what did you make of... Uh, did you see the open letter from 60X employees? It was so... Clear uh, that that, that um, I mean the MD kind of he did some pissy reply the next day, but I thought it was a bit passive the reply. He said they'll they're going to learn from it. Uh, it was quite. It was it was sort of a bit shitty. <laughs> I didn't like as I've done like you've worked in the industry, so now I've, I've done disciplinary to people and stuff like that. And I just thought it was a bit passive. I it didn't go. He didn't go far enough for the reply. Person. Um, I, and the atmosphere think, I, was very recognisable, like for for working in management, that I could it was, feel it. It's, that's, for me, that is so unanimous as well. Sixty mm. ex employees, yeah, that all felt they had to do something about it. It's yeah. incredible, really. It must be so toxic. Everything about this brand, everything about this brand, mm -hmm. has just been completely exposed. Everything yes. they pretended to be early doors. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, I didn't actually buy that, and I'll probably be swerving them from now on. 
I probably asked, probably, I, was, I was talking to someone the other day and I said, yeah, I think there's so many breweries now. And they wrote the model on it. All the breweries, like, we can, you know, Vocation and um, Rock, oh, I can't remember the name. Magic they, Rock. Yeah. Magic Rock. <clears throat> they wrote the script yeah, on these did. beers. Uh, but they Make out your Bohemian. Just add some random flavours every now and again. Sexy yeah. cats. Um, yeah, make mm. out your all new age, and, but actually just be a right horrible set of bastards behind the scenes. <laughs> Have you ever had a boss like that? The first. <laughs> yeah. Have you had a boss? I've had a boss. I remember I've had two. I had my first ever boss was when I, the first time I watched, Rick, you know, The Office, Ricky and mm. I got it instantly. Some of my friends were like, oh, I don't get it. And I had that boss when I was mm. 17. My boss was called Scott, and he was such a dick, and he was everyone's mate. He, and he, he was just such a twat. Like, he'd kind of lunchtime would come along and he'd go, whoop, hey, half a pint, down a hand and hair. You know you want to. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and you'd just be thinking, oh, fucking, this guy's a dick. Like, yeah. he's such a twat. I never had anything like that, but working at McDonald's is pretty toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like you literally, you'll be a burger flipper or you'll be on the tills and you'll just be, you know, bottom run staff. And then suddenly, someone's been there long enough or whatever to become a manager a floor manager whatever you want to call it yeah uh, they, they change the colour of shirt and just instantly become a dickhead yes. <laughs> it's like you knew like a week ago you were in exactly my position now you've got a different colour shirt you've completely transformed into an arsehole uh, that that's it's something to judge isn't it? it's just mad like, they must have known exactly what it was like it's just literally in case. The only com- one of the only companies that permanently recruit all the way through you can't yes. just come in as a shift runner no like or that, unlike most jobs i had a guy working for me uh, fuck years ago when i was a bp and i got a someone like the regional manager said to me well why is it you've not promoted this guy and i said he's a bellend if you put him in charge of pens he'll become a nightmare mm. and they said john you've got to really give a guy a chance and he lasted eight hours and I said I can't you're going to have to forget what I said you're not doing this this is insane I'm going to take you off and then <clears throat> when I got made redundant they promoted him to assistant manager they demoted him six days later because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's just a fucking crazy twat yeah. like, he yeah, would just, so, just kill people just for 10 feet <laughs> some people can't do it some people can't do it um, so that is that vaping on the new Inican Cool Fire Z80 Mmm. 18650. 80 watt. Uh, it's got that ridiculous fine death frequency thing, but you don't need to use that to put it in wattage. I did mode. see it the other day. You posted it off. It's like I don't mind it, actually. Cool yeah, fire. there's different ones of this bit, obviously. It's kind of a weird sort of. Sh- sh- it's not hateful. It's not leather, though. Not that. that I, I love, that it's, a, I love that it's an actual battery. There's so many built in mods. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Um, although I will say, this 24mm Zenith, I think it. I think it looked better than 22, yeah, it's a bit cheeky. Yeah. Um, in terms of the actual tanks, the Zenith, that you will already be aware of, um, they don't change it a lot. It's it's, it's fine. Uh, the round wire coil, I don't think... I think I'm a bit done with ra- normal round wire coils. If it's pre-made, I want mesh. If... Well, yeah, if it's pre-made coil, I want mesh. If I'm doing it myself, I want Clapton's. Even even at low wattage, even mouth to lung. Um, the round wire's a little bit... Not as good as the mesh, in my opinion. Uh, no, but but fair. it's a solid thing. The one thing I would say, and a few people have mentioned this that I've seen, fiber is <coughs> shite. It's really sort of sticky and squidgy. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. You were selling it, it to me like then. It's gonna, feels like it's going to jam up at some point. Not a great fire button. And I, I've seen a few people sort of dismissing it as, it's probably just mine or... And, it, you know, I can set, get them... I know why they've reached that assumption that's probably just them but I've seen enough people say it for it to be an actual existing flaw not yeah. a one off I've got a dodgy one three other people that I've seen have mentioned the fire button so it's a bit of a shitty fire button but uh, it's a pretty nice model other than that and a very good tank uh, I don't yeah, yeah. The tanks I don't, I don't like the look of it but <laughs> I personally have not seen them make a decent tank yet but that's just me also on the dead rabbit with Matt Cully's thing that we still can't remember the name of. That looks oh, cute. Oh, Gua, Gua, Gua 21 Gua. with current. 
Nice. I've got some high nick current and some low nick current. So I'm well done. The low nick into here. Right, I'm out completely. I haven't got any for myself. Uh, loser. Too nice for my customers. Fucking idiot. And then the Mustang with the solo. That is got the strong. Yeah, Thank, did you get that off crate? Yeah, the yeah, yeah the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I do like that. It's really nice. It's a really good solid work mod. Um, and that's got the high wattage current in because that's a low wattage tank. Uh, so that is all of that. So that's a, good, that's a good, funny thread as well. Wanker bosses. We should definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stupid, stuffy bosses done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Before we get into the vaping news, John. Yes. <laughs> we'll get your take on some of the world's news. Yes. Let's do it. What do you think of uh, American tennis sensation Osaka um, pulling out of the French Open, pulling out of Wimbledon? Yeah, and complaining about the the way the press operates in tennis, interviewing them straight after a loss, etc. That's been, but it's been a that's been building for like fifteen years now. But it, it happened. Um, do do do. Snooker had got the same problem where they're really really interested in the in they're more way more interested in the loss and rubbing in a loss. Uh, I remember when they interviewed Ronnie in China, and he uh, was just doing low job motions on the microphone and stuff just because it's just you, you're having a really bad like you've lost sometimes they're losing 150 grand <laughs> like and then, then they're kind of like and how are you feeling well not fucking brilliant yeah i don't think the tennis players are thinking about the money though when they lose or, or you know they've lost the seeding or whatever yeah, it still yeah. sucks doesn't it um why did he put up why did he put out the french open because I, I saw it the news is literally today isn't it? he's pulled out the french open but i didn't actually open it uh, yeah, so she's just yeah, she's just not happy with the way she in, she has to be interviewed as soon as she comes off court, sc scrutinising her game and her loss and stuff. She's saying she's struggling with mental health a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's really it's a really tricky one, isn't it? Because it's it's across all sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, they do. The manager's famous in football. They always I take mean, them. that's boxing, when they want it. They, <laughs> the interview and when they've just been knocked out. They climb out of the ring completely concussed and still have to stand there and go, yeah, better man won on the night, I'll be back. What did you think of the boxing the other week with, um, I can't remember think his name, Junior. and um, Mayweather uh, yeah. and yeah, Mayweather, yeah. Logan Paul. Bit of a farce, wasn't it? It was ridiculous. May uh, Mayweather is one of the greatest boxers he's ever lived. I mean, he, whatever you think of him personally, he's not a very Yeah, he looked person. his age though. Yeah, he still moved though. I mean, you could uh, that when he caught a Logan Paul and put it back because he was obviously supposed to knock him out. Uh, yeah, there's one bit where I, he is not conscious. Well, I don't. I didn't. See, I did watch it and I didn't see that. I didn't see him hold him up like the, there's been accused. But but he, he will have buzzed him a few times, I'm sure. But, yeah, um, I thought it was a farce. I mean, I, 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 Mayweather himself called it legalized bank robbery. Yeah. Well, did he get paid for a hundred million? Or like state? twenty-five million. Oh yeah, fuck, it's mad. Isn't it? That is mad for what that was. Mm. Um, I think it takes a bit of the shine off real boxing. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think the shine's been taken off real boxing a lot in the last. Some I was talking to a friend the other day, and they thought that it was new for someone to put their fighter up against, you know, obvious wins. And I was like. It's not new. Frank Warren was doing it in the eighties. It's not yeah, not yeah. new at all. I mean, Audley Harrison should never have been in professional boxing, but uh, Frank Warren had him at the time and just put him up against you know people on the way down who'd lost it. People with the glass jaw, and then they and then he yeah, got up yeah. and I don't, I don't, mind, I don't, I don't mind it on the way up. I don't mind it as learning fights, and all yeah, that yeah, stuff and pr promoting them, building them up, whatever. But it, it comes a point where it's a joke. It's the only mm. sport where the best don't have to fight the best, isn't it? No. Well, they, where it came apart, Amir look at, Khan. Look at, uh, yeah, you watched Amir him come Khan, up, and he was yeah. so no defence, just couldn't keep his hands in yeah, front of his face. Yeah, he did win two world titles, though. But, yeah, but not where, and then he got the fuck kicked out of him, in, like, in, in stellar style, because he just didn't have any defence, which you just can't have at that level. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, it's really tricky. I mean, the classic for me of modern times is Deontay Wilder. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's fought. About forty cab drivers <laughs> pinched the world title and then just carried on fighting plumbers and butchers for until it came up against a proper fighter and lost twice. We got a bond orange. Do you remember? <coughs> I know, we'll, we'll, in my we'll opinion, move this on. third fight, he's literally just cashing out. 
Did you see? Um, do you remember Herbie Hyde out of Norwich? Yeah, He's yeah. Like well, he developed a glass jaw, and we watched. I remember watching. He wasn't at the title fight. He wasn't the headliner. He was uh, like just before the headline match, and he must have been out on his feet about <laughs> eight times during the fight. And you were at the end just screaming at the ref. Why the fuck are you carrying on? It's not like he's going to suddenly find his form. He's fucking unconscious. Yeah, yeah. Such a bad fight. It really uh, is. One more, one more thing from yeah, go the for, world. Go for, go for. I'm hoping it's something news. I know more about than tennis. Oh well, well, it is something uh, more than that. Uh, what do you think about stuff and things? Um, uh, I was. I don't want to get. I don't want to get really covered-y, But what do yeah, you think okay. about? But we have to mention. Yeah, yeah. they have extended. The full it was the call. opening. I'm not going to piss. I don't want to. Uh, it, it was the correct call to make. I feel that they should have. Well, I think it was the correct call to make. Too late. We shouldn't have moved into where we are. We shouldn't have moved into this section because it clearly doesn't work. They could have held. I think if we'd have held in the last position for another fortnight, we would be in a different position. We're now at ninety-five percent of all cases in the UK. Oh, the Indian variant. I'm not calling it Delta. It's ridiculous. Um, and there were eleven thousand cases today, which is should we call it the Ryanair variant? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was trending on Twitter on Monday night was the Boris variant hashtag Boris variant, which was pretty funny. He did ship it in, <laughs> especially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a mathematical thing. I don't yeah. think it, it we have to. Can't yeah, stop it. I think it's a, it's a fair shout to push it back. We're not in the numbers aren't good. Uh, yeah, and I just think if the young ones can get out more. Yeah, that's what I'd have preferred. Uh, but there we go. So that's that. What's in the vaping world? Oh, in the news? vaping news that hasn't lasted long since far haven't you? Okay, right, here we go. The vaping news. <clears throat> it's quite a lot. I went with an independent story first. Oh, this is literally breaking. This is going to be the this is going to be the hashtag BLM story. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen it. It's definitely worth trying to find the video. Um, a black teenager who was filmed being violently arrested by police in Ocean City, Maryland, over allegedly violating a vaping ban, has spoken out, urging others to stand up against police brutality. They kicked the shit out of him. He was vaping. Where in a, in a smoke free zone, and they went uh, four or five police officers went in knees first. Um, yeah, there's going to be a big floor over this. I don't uh, get it. I don't get. I don't get why the police still feel they can get away with this sort of stuff. I don't. Well, they don't use body cams like as much as we do in the UK. Body cams are so serious, and you it's you'll get state by state, isn't it? Yeah, if you if you fiddle with your body cam, you're in serious shit. Um, they're thinking about we're getting body cams now on paramedics and firefighters because they keep getting attacked, which is fucking mental. Yeah. Um, but we're now they're they going to put loud, body cams. On. What? They are noisy. As I'm... <laughs> Such a dick. Um, yeah. Um, Here's uh, let me just tell you the uh, police can be seen surrounding and tackling. This is Anderson, uh, Mr. Anderson. So, what, so, was he would would should he have been allowed to vape where he was vaping? No, he was banned. Well, you know, in a, in a world of not twats, of course, he should. He was outside, yeah, but he yeah, was, yeah, yeah. but technically, was, he was technically a rule. He was breaking a rule, absolutely. You don't need to go in knees first. Clip no, around somebody. the ear would have sufficed. Like. Whatever, stop. Yeah, it, you know, it's fucking absolutely crazy. Come it's really hand. going to kick off over this, um, and they've brought it on themselves. Is, but it's and because is they he okay. Yeah, he's okay. He, he has. He hasn't. He, he's not been hospitalised. What was but, he um... <laughs> No, too soon. Who's? I don't know. Yeah, I think they did tase him as well. They did tase him in the end to get control. Of this guy, uh... it might have been all right if it was like Heisenberg or something. It's like, what are you doing, you idiots? Red Astaire, just stay yeah. on the beach. Is that Red Astaire? Fucking Come hell! Now. Um, they do have a massive. I don't care. There's a huge problem with police training in the US. It takes no time to be qualified if the uniform fits it's, you it's, out. It's, it's, it's it fucking. It does mental. seem like they are inherently racist. 
Like this uh, is literally, just... literally a culture, like a culture of that's who they attract. They're people. Yeah, of they, course they it seem is. to attract a but certain like, type of person. As but of course, that's like if you, if, but I, we, me and my dad used to this <laughs> really preach. weird joke. That I'm not. Yeah, that's the joke. I'm not allowed to tell anymore. My wife said it was terrible. Why well, don't really care? Who do you think you're going to attract when you say that the job is you have to be celibate? You either get my my dad's argument is you're going to you're reaching out to mentally ill people and sexual deviants. They are your two. That's your target audience. That was going to go. Yeah, that's fine. There, uh, it's uh, just you're you're going to get a who's who, a fucking maniac. And yeah, that's what you get in the police. They used to be in the certain American police forces. You could. Bring your own gun to work if it was your favourite one. Yeah, well, if you've got a gun permit, you've got a gun permit, haven't you? Yeah, but like... <laughs> Sawn off shotgun. It's so fucked up. It's so messed up, it really is. It just needs to start again. It's it, the I, worst I, I remember a boxer. I remember a boxer getting in trouble for having a gun in an airport. Um, And it was just happened to be a state where you're not allowed to carry. <laughs> and it, like it, he's from a state where you are allowed to carry. So it was like yeah. a, but I just um, that just that blows my mind that it's you as casual. It's as casual as that. He's like, oh, I forgot, I forgot, forgot my key. I've got my keys in my pocket. Sorry, you know, it's like it's like, it was as casual as that. You can check it in as well. You know, you can you can yeah. have it on you, but you can check it in yeah, and then yeah. put it in put it in your hold luggage and pick it up when you get to the other end. Like, what the fuck is going to happen while you're away? Don't forget my gun, passport, gun. Chewing gum. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. California, surfing holiday. I'll get me gum. <laughs> Does this go with the shorts or should I bring the other one? No, it looks way better the other one. The other and, one makes your ass look get a really big knife. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. What am I like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're laughing because it's fucking insane. Have you tried to talk to them? Freedom! Yeah, freedom, your fucking life off, mate. I can't be asked. But that's going to be breaking in the next couple of days. Right, that, uh, right. They brought it on themselves. It's fucking insane. That's <clears> harsh. No, <laughs> they have. Yeah, Here we it's, go. It's terrible. It's terrible. Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to be going all the way to Holland now. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I think we've got the a Dutch. couple of Dutch people watching. Dutch Flavor Band comes in on July 1st. Um, and they're trying to now compare because we know from San Francisco that the smoking rate's gone up in San Francisco so they're trying to work out if it's a fuck up and so the par- Parliament magazine <clears throat> have gone with a headline why the Dutch vaping flavour ban won't drive down underage smoking rates no oh, shit although Noble in, yeah. although Noble in intent the ban would have the opposite effect, argued the Consumer Choice Centre's Maria Chapelier and World Vapors Alliance Michael Laddell. Starting from the 1st of July 2022. Oh, sorry, it's not until next, next year. Do in Holland. Yeah, this is next year. Sorry, I do because of all the COVID thing, I think it's all been thrown off. Starting from July the 1st of uh, July 2022. July, 1st of July 2022. Flavoured e cig e-cigarette liquids might be banned in the Netherlands. The decision to proceed with the ban, originally proposed in June 2020, is drastically at odds with public opinion, let alone science. Combined with the EU beating cancer plans, restrictive anti-vaping measures, the flavour ban demonstrates Europe's incessant drift away from evidence-based policy making, which is absolutely true. Yeah, It cannot be science. It just wins. It doesn't matter what you say. <clears throat> I've said to a lot of people recently, well, they, they go, well, this is a Ricky Gervais quote a bit, but, you know, people kind of go, well, this is my opinion. It's invalid. It's invalid against science and maths. It doesn't count. It doesn't matter. You can have it, but I don't have to care about it. It's worthless. <clears throat> Vaping is facing such reg- regulatory hardships, primarily because it's misunderstood. Invented as a cessation tool, vaping targets adult smokers, in particular heavy ones, to help them quit. In the UK, electronic cigarettes are being given to smokers in hospitals, and vape flavours play a crucial role in the crusades to lower tobacco smoking rate. The Dutch government's reasoning for the vapor flavour ban, but there's a mouthful, is to tackle teen smoking. As such, the goal in, is indeed noble since e-cigarettes should be an adult-only product, and strict age restrictions need to be enforced. However, if that is really the goal, then the Dutch government is shooting in the wrong direction. And I think that there's no argument for the mm. other way. Why? Why have? Why have they got two names? What 
Holland. No, it's the Netherlands. It's just us. So you're not supposed to say Holland. You are. You can. No, it's fine. It's just it's uh, it, it's a uh, it's a hangover for some shittiness because of when it um. Well, I'm sure there's Dutch people in the no, they're watching the footy chat. Um, it's to do with the uh, Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany, and the makeup and breakup of the whole thing. And that's like a. Thing. But you can call it Holland. It's the English for Netherlands. It's fine. Netherlands is Dutch for we. We do with fuckheads. We do it with everybody. It's totally stupid. Right. And, they, and there's never Neverland. <laughs> yeah. But why do we call Germany Germany? We could just call it Deutschland and it'd be fine. We wouldn't have to fucking. Do okay, it. so it's a Englishism. Yeah. All right. Okay. That, that's literally what it is. We don't do it with the French. It's close. I mean, it would be France, ain't? But it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like the Great Britain thing. I, I see that one. How done. will the band work? What, like, say, could you send some someone? Only under a, well, like you don't send them a flavouring because it's not. It depends. They, they haven't actually done right, the okay, finite okay. bits. Well, we'll keep one eye on that. Then. Yeah, the law would be it is against the law, but it depends. What you use the law. Um, yeah. So I was just going to make the joke that lots of people, you know, every so often you get a gammon on the TV. You go, I want to put a great back in Britain. Right. Understand that that means larger than Britannia. You fucking moron. It doesn't mean. Well, it's a catchy. It's not, it's not a review. <laughs> yeah, but it's let. a catchy. Yeah, no, but it doesn't mean that. Great just means larger. Yeah, than. but you could say, I want to put the United back in United Kingdom. That's fine. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got the argument. Great Britain is greater than Britannia, as in greater than Britannia in France. That's all it means. It doesn't yeah, mean but yeah, but it's a it's a catchy. <laughs> I like the fact you went with United Kingdom. That makes sense because there are. Yeah, but they don't it's... mean they want they what they mean is unite the people back oh, to okay. being wanting to be in the United Kingdom. I see. There's nuances. <laughs> it's yeah. It's not legally. Oh, here you go. Nick Smith has said Holland is a couple of regions of Netherlands, apparently. Yeah, we don't use it like that. Uh, um, that was that one. Oh, that was a good one. This is from an uh, Australian um, website called Mamma Mia. You know, you're getting some quality stuff here. So what somebody's done is collected all the garbage in the news about vaping and jammed it all together in one vlog blog post it's quite good here we go <clears throat> her name is Erin Doherty if you want to send her some shit in the post what is it bad is it bad this yeah <laughs> oh no from sweetened fruity flavours to the discreet packaging that doesn't make any sense in recent years vaping has absolutely exploded in popularity it's the trendy new thing to do no it's mm, not it just ask any teenager well I won't do that I don't know any it not, not quite so. nice <laughs> marketed as a safer alternative to cigarettes the clouded swirls of smoke and fruity scents have become the norm in our streets, pubs and clubs dot 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 and schools oh no just how safe is it? really safe <laughs> no you an idiot obviously while well, vaping hasn't been exactly been around for long enough for the studies to be done on long term effects uh, nine years not how it works um, <laughs> yeah. that is not, like, that's not how it works right, we, wouldn't, no. we wouldn't have a Covid vaccine if that's <laughs> how it worked no, that is how people think that works a lot of people have said that they're like no no it's the, an the amount long, of the hours long term, the long term <laughs> research isn't just suck it and see <laughs> you don't well, have to wait it's, well we're going to bring out these microwaves what are the long term effects well we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> yeah, we should put a door on it <laughs> we should make sure the door goes open it. while it's on <laughs> that's a great point Jeff no reaching in. No pacemakers. Sally, back off. That's it. <laughs> While vaping hasn't exactly been around for long, it's hitting young people hard, so she says. For example, in 2019, there was a mysterious cluster of lung illnesses across the US. Most of them were otherwise healthy people in their early 20s or teens. All of them had a history of vaping. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and state agencies reported 2,602 lung injury cases that required hospitalisation. Blah, 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 blah. It's all totally disproved. Shit. Like, everybody's admitted it. Even the um, Department of Tobacco and Firearms have said, yeah, no, it, was, it was a bit of an ass take. We, we know that now. It's fine. It says here... Uh, you don't hear what? about many exploding now. No, we really need to... Up <laughs> it's because we the lung injuries better. 
uh, we got we get we get, we get down to the real nitty gritty. What is vaping? Shaped like cigarettes or pens. Mm, we can skip this bit. Yeah, that's fine. Is vaping safe? Let me just get to the conclusion. It's too Hold early on. to tell, clearly. Younger adult smokers... Uh, oh, well, that's it. Oh, they're sal saying that the cigarette users are running out <laughs> fast. And so they think that tobacco companies if are replacing only. them. If only. If are replacing only them that, with that new smokers. <laughs> Oh, they, they get the game to out really late. Yeah, they fucked it up in 2013. That's why they're still making garbage. Yeah, so what I would do is not read Mamma Mia because it is shit. I've heard the film's bad as well. Yeah. Last one. Uh, I thought I'd do another one. Uh, the News Medical and Life Sciences. Oh, this is quite interesting because this goes back to another disproved thing from last year, but it's okay. Smoking and vaping increases ACE2 levels and virus spike binding in airway epilithium. This is important just for the first bit and then we're going to kill it off. <clears throat> the continuing spread of severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, as in COVID-19 globally, has not taken a great toll not only taking a great toll on human health, but threatened, blah, 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 blah. We need to get to the bit here. So this is a study. Now they're trying to claim that this happens so often in what we do and what you do, but you need to know where the connection is. So this study is based on nothing to do with COVID-19 at all. This is in fact not a study. It's a study on dead cells, or not, sorry, lung cells that are alive, but they're in, in vitrium, in Harvard University in 2019. So we've already done this. It's disproved. It's fucking shit. And they're still trying to do it. And now, the, now Harvard are quite happy for this to be reinvented into a COVID-19 study, which it's not. It's, it's just, it just isn't. They're basically claiming that it changes the DNA within your lung cells but they're, 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 it's so flimsy the modelling is shit the um, the control is t absolutely terrible and uh, the volume of tests is ridiculous it's not like 2000 it's just not even it's a piece of shit yeah. so when you see this come up it's been disproved it's been disproved again by the it was disproved in the US but we've just the um, um, Public Health England has disproved it. The French have, the Spanish have, it's totally shit. Just ignore it. But it is from the Harvard Lung Cell In Vitrium study. That's just oh, shit. They're not attached to anything. Mm. I thought it was worth going over. Yeah. There hasn't been a, a, a really up to date, damning study. Like, there's no, oh. there's no pending, like, there's no studies currently out that vaping is preparing to rebuff like there's literally every single one that's out right now has been disproved yeah it's just the same recycled shit it's like um what was the one prior to this oh there was the lung cells the one prior to this was the other harvard with the um <coughs> um let well they they it was a dry hit and they, Mo they put it most through, of them have given up on this they like trying to prove it's not good like so most of them just re just completely re reliant now on the save the kids the one that was quite good that near kind of had some point which is uh what temperature you make from aldehyde but you could have basically made from aldehyde out of fucking anything if you get it hot enough and it, like, yeah. and it well, just a cigarette matter. is literally on fire yeah and that is mainly I mean, and the levels once you compare the cigarette to vaping and from aldehyde is nothing it's absolutely stupid it's parts per million with fucking men we've gone through it a lot really we've gone through a popcorn long Vivali, vapes exploding, save the kids. Yep. Uh, long term effects. I, I, I'm surprised they haven't done like try to pin additional chemicals in. You know, like. It's a shame for them that nicotine has got its own. Like, I am not. No, I'm not going to say. Um, but, but nicotine has got its a brilliant overdose. But if they thing. could scrutinise enough juices, they could probably find one where someone's added something they didn't need to or something. An oil would be an easy one to find, and you could then you loop uh, uh, lipoid pneumonia, but it's bollocks again. Um, if you... Call her in. 
Yeah, well, we are. Do you know what I mean? Like, fuck away in from there. Shouldn't no. be in there. But we, that was self policed, like out of the mainstream. But I bet you could still find one somewhere, a Malaysian one or something. Oh, of course you can. I saw and a green go, one. And just go to town on it. What was the thing um, they did a while back? Um. Uh, Oh, no, sorry, I was talking about nicotine. Nicotine's got a really brilliant property as a chemical, which is it's really difficult to OD on it because it makes you feel really sick. Yeah, it's self... Uh... It's kind of... It's self well, don't, can't not do many it. people literally drink alcohol to death. Same, it's easy same to sort do. Of thing. But it's same like getting a head rush with a cigarette. You don't need to police you getting a, an overdose of nicotine smoke it. It's the same sort of thing you can't... alcohol, though, isn't it? You get to a point you where you physically can't walk to the bar again. Yeah, but unlike alcohol, we can get cirrhosis to the liver. <laughs> from alcohol Not from die. one heavy night. No, that's true. That's what I mean. What I mean is, in that moment, you literally pass out before you've had. Yeah, that's true. Air. And you, or, or, you, or, you, or, or you, you throw up, or your body will reject it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, that's good. I got a great example. Salt is a really difficult thing to OD on because you will throw up immediately. Mm. Well, people use it to throw up, don't they? Yeah, but it was proved in court there was a. There was a somebody. Uh, there was a famous case in America where um, a woman was accused of murdering her son with um, salt, and um, so her defence solicitor put the same amount of salt in a glass of water and drank it, and threw up everywhere. You can't do it; it's not possible. Yeah. Uh, should we do? Should we do? Uh, oh, here we... you go. Frank Amis has just put electronic cigarette use is not associated with COVID nineteen diagnosis. Mayo Clinic, seventh of June, twenty twenty one. Yes, just he's, he's dead. That is it's total shit. And they should just shut the fuck up. Um, just before we do the new stuff, um, yes. we did a we did a funny little thread on the group this week. Um, we put just for fun, badly explain your job. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. And I, I pinched this from a, a completely non vaping related group, but it went down well there. So I thought, I'd try it. Uh, it was really funny. It's really good. Uh, I'm just going to read out a few. It's obviously feel free and. If you're not, please do join the Facebook page. Oh, don't give me the name and I'll try and guess what they are. Okay. Uh, I have quite a good memory, so I'll try to pretend that I'm I waiting for it. people to, people I work with to realise that I stopped coming to work two years ago. Oh, yeah. That is. <laughs> <laughs> I carefully create lots of sawdust, which magically disappears when I turn my back. What's that? A right, carpenter. That was Mark Jackson, yeah. It's got to be something like Joiner or Carpenter. A carpenter, yeah. Uh, Chris Allerton. I right. peddle addiction. You could have put that in yours. I said I sell addictive yeah. um, flavouring. So that was Nick. That was a, he's a Nick. He, he works in vaping. Yeah. Oh, you'll get this one. Inner squishy head detective and coordinator. Inner squishy head detective? Yeah. And coordinator. In a squishy head. Been on the well, show. Psychologist, but Keith. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Psychiatric nurse. That's good. I like that. Uh, I got my favourite one was. Go on. uh, uh, I know what he does. So he works at Edinburgh um, and is a not an air traffic controller. He works. With, he's ground. He's a ground. What do they call them? Ground flight controller lands planes. He put. I stand on runways and wave table tennis rackets. Yeah. That was good. I really enjoyed that. I was really thought that was one of my favourites. Susan's. I liked Susan's. I lent people ridiculous amounts of money to basically buy 30,000 bricks glued together. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's an estate agent, I see. A uh, mortgage advisor. Oh, mortgage advisor. That's good, yes. Uh, I get electrocuted daily and people pay me. Oh, is anyone that is? Electrician. Oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> I used to get paid to stab people. <laughs> what the fuck is that? A John Frey put that. John Frey. Oh, was he? I don't know. Is that is that an injecting people? Gotta be something along those gotta lines. Be, isn't gotta it? be something like that. <laughs> Bryn put. I get. I sit in front of. I sit at the front of trains getting scared. He's a train driver, isn't he? <laughs> I like the getting scared bit. Though. Yeah, I did. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, he drives. He drives I like train. the idea that a train driver sees another train ah! coming and goes, "Ah, we're really yeah, close." Or just, or just screams <laughs> because they the do whole go way. past really close. <laughs> I just like the idea of him kind of going. And next stop is Shinfield. Shinfield next stop. Ah! I, I had a friend who invested in that company 
that tried to make adverts for passing trains. It created like a hologram. The movie oh, wow. created a hologram of a perfect advert screen, like a moving. Advert. Fucking hell. Sorry, Andy Fairchild just pointed out to Frape's job as a tattooist. Oh. Of course he's a tattooist. I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's the. I did. Uh, yeah, so there's, a, there's just a few. Uh, I th- there's a few just really good ones. Like the ones um, John put a picture of his as well, like experimental horticultural engineer. I didn't know that. He's he a gardener. He just operates a digger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. It went down really well. Oh yeah, I thought it was funny as fun. It's very hard if you've got. It's very hard if you've got an insanely mundane job like mine to put mm. like a funny spin on it. Like literally. Did you not even come up with one? Uh, I, I put something, but it, but it ran. I just put like a couple of random computer stuff, or you know. But it's it's very tricky if you just got really a, if you got an insanely boring <laughs> office job. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's really good. I wanted to do uh, actual job titles. You know, like every, everyone's modernised job titles. Like in my industry now, you get like um, code, oh, fuck, code yeah. wizards and stuff like that. Uh, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Like wanky job titles for your normal job yeah we used to Dude, my, I used to have a, I used to have a uh, so my cleaner at work was his name was Neville he was absolutely brilliant he was about 76 and um, if ever anybody got a bit because sh- sometimes dickheads who are new to any industry are shitty with a cleaner which is like the worst thing you can do mm. you're a fucking idiot if you're shitty with a cleaner first thing I did every morning was go and get Neville a coffee we'd go and put the world to rights uh, he'd smoke a cigar and I'd smoke a fag but um Every so often you get a bit of a chippy cashier would say something like, oh, excuse me, that bin's overflowing, sort it out. And he was um, he was chief of sanitation on the on the area. He was just, just, just being an absolute dick about being chief. Uh, sorry, I'm actually a sanitation engineer. You're not after me. <laughs> Let's walk off. He was loaded. That was the funniest thing. I employed him as a cleaner. He owned his own house and he bought his daughter a house. <laughs> Had like four cars. It's in nice. my toilet. Uh, but... Do you have the feed up? Oh, no, but I can't do. Do that. Symbol as, mate. I'll very quickly, uh, I'll, I'll very quickly run out of the first one. Uh, I'm not sure if we've showed this before, but to people saying it's pretty good, it's the old fashioned sort of subs tank on a stick. Thing. Uh, free max. Up with sub tank on a stick. Free max have done a sub tank on a stick. I think I've always thought these should work well in vape shops because it's. I that's simple. it. That's it. Perfect. That's what you want. And free max make good sub tanks. So is there no reason that this wouldn't be a solid thing? This is the Mavos. I would be a bit worried about the droppability of it. That would be where yeah. I am. I think it's easy to smash that tank. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, but. Yeah, they're pocket friendly. There's a one button. It, yeah, yeah. It does what it does. What was the Aspire did one that still sell? Yeah, I can't remember the name either. But they, these they, these tank. used to be regular. Every vape company used to have a version of this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And for me, they just were. Be good to see it come back, especially for new starts. There was like that, an Atlantis one. It's a shame that that's not like mouth to lung. That is better than the sub tank version, but that's just me. True, true. Uh, we showed this last time. This is from Dam Vape. Um, this is the Nitros RDA, but we we didn't have a deck pick last time. Uh, we do now. It looks like it can be single or dual coil. It's kind of got that raised square post thing going on, a bit sort of Dead Rabbit esque. Uh, I reckon you can do that single or dual. It's got four holes, so why not? Uh, I think it's not a looker. But it'll probably be quite a solid vape, that. Uh, so we don't mind it, that. It, nice to see it. It's a shame they've got the colour there. That, uh, uh, that uh, uh, it won't come off. I assume it's uh, iodized or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, they do. They do a much better job of that now. <coughs> yeah, yeah. That's just this shame about the blue on the air. I don't know the black on the air. Little vape, fine though. Nice to see a new RDA. Don't come off. Yeah. Uh, this is, is it. Bottom is it bottom fed as well. Uh... I do not know. I yes, I it should it definitely be. be. They all come with a, a probably. A, I reckon that does probably vape. Yeah, a very old school goon goon esque vape with a different deck. <laughs> uh, 
This one is from Umie, still cashing in on this Wasp Association. Uh, they've basically come up with a mod to stick their existing Wasp Nano RDA on top of. Um, it's a bit uh, in your face uh, with a big skull on it. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an electronic mech. I know people hate that terminology, but it's basically an unregulated uh, safety fake. mech. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll, it'll literally just... You don't off. get a lot of mechs, don't really. They don't happen very often, do they? Not anymore. I mean, yeah. And it's one of the... I mean, what? You couldn't... The other issue is, like, what? You couldn't put anything else on it. When you get Bardi Wasp Nano RDA, anything else would just look crackers on there, so... Uh, it doesn't look great. Again, you used that. to see this. You see this a lot. You used to see sort of accompanying mods with already successful patties. But so. it's because it looks good. Light in a vape shop isn't bad. If somebody wants to step up, but you're not, you know, they're not that safe. The only thing I don't like is the lack of. If you've got, if you've got a mod like this, you can build on it too because all your info is here. But uh, if that if that yeah, gives yeah. you a double flash, you don't know why. You know, you just go. I don't know what the fuck it's done that for. Well, yeah, but it'll stop. It won't short. No, 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 exactly. It's great that it won't short, but it doesn't. It doesn't explain why. <laughs> it's not like it's. Yeah. You know, it will be because of a short. Though. But I, no, I, I get well, it. Might I get be what you mean. And, and the danger is, if someone is getting that as a first, that is that is the problem. Yeah. Uh, this is from Vandy Vape. I'm not sure what's going on here. Because this is called the PRSE Kit Special Edition, and this is an existing mod. I'm sure it's an existing squonker. Um, so I think they've just brought out special edition of an exist of the existing Vandive Pulse. Two. <laughs> yeah, it does that like it? Uh, so I, I don't know. Basically, yeah, if it's basically a special edition of an existing mod from Vandive. Um, it, yeah, I guess maybe people that didn't want the mech, because uh, the Requiem, which is on top there, the RDA on top, which is a nice RDA, it, uh, maybe the people didn't want the Requiem squonker because it was mech, so it's for regulated people, I guess, that they're reintroducing this. Yeah, it really, it's very sort of 2017. It's very traditional, isn't it? It needs a square bottle. Uh, but it is what it is. It's a, I had one of these for quite a while, in fact. I I. I do have one of these right here. Uh, so Ooh, this, was the, a... this was the original version of that. So I guess they've just gone for colourful doors, reintroduced yeah. it. People that are interested in the Requiem can go with this route instead of the mech route, I guess. Uh, so that's a new thing. This we did show last week, uh, the week before last, I believe. This is the Clutch X18 from Dovpo Signature Tips and Mike Vapes. Um, we were speculating about size, and so this is why I threw this one in. Uh, I was really frank it now, It's tiny. Did, did you see the tagline on the last mod? Because oh, no, frank no. is just nicked it. It says, "Feel the color of passion." Dot dot dot. Okay. Ooh, that's the last thing I want to feel. <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, yeah. So it is. It is, as you can see in this picture, tiny. It is literally it's really, the size really of the two eight six fifties, and it. It's definitely in parallel as well. That was another thing we speculated. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe Mark Todd, if he hasn't already, is doing a review. I think he has already done a review. Uh, that will pack a smack. Yeah, that'll be is great. It's, you know, it's, it's unregulated again, so you know, be safe, know what you're getting into. Um, but uh, I've always liked dual parallel, um, and uh, that and it's tiny. It's tiny. It'd be built really well. It's um, just it's such a shame that we don't have we haven't had Expo this year because that would have been like the the mod it mm, really would have been yeah. and signature are great for the in hand thing you do need to touch their stuff yeah. I don't say it's really twatty but you yeah. do I remember when them um, were the first one ever came out and we were all given one and he, I was a bit uh, and then I got it and it was they're they're they're, they're brilliant. Yeah. Well, they do what they say on the tin. Don't yeah, they're rock solid, they rock solid, yeah. nicely put together. And Dovpo have done an amazing job of replicating the signature tips quality as well, uh, which is nice. This is a new trend. This is a new trend. This is from Smock, who are now having a go at this credit card shape okay. card system. Yeah, this is 2016. But we showed one a couple. Yeah, of we did. These yeah, a couple of weeks ago, and we were saying, "Well, where do you suck it?" And it turns out in the corner. It was the corner. Yeah, it's the same as the one that was used. Yeah. I mean, they're very pocket friendly by the sh nature of the shape because it's like a mobile phone, isn't it? 
If it's not new, that's what I don't understand. No, they, they, oh, it's got a screen. They've got a screen. Yeah, yeah it's got. So, it, but this is what happens, isn't it? Someone brings one out, and then someone adds a screen, and then someone adds more watts, then someone adds more capacity, and we go around this thing. So, it looks the thing like you'll always suffer with is going to have a go at this now. The, I mean, twenty-five watts. That battery is going to be wank. It's going to go. I mean, this is the reason that this shape hasn't. <laughs> Taken off because yeah. it's actually shit. Yeah, yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah, totally. And if you, because then if you put, if you have like a power bank with it, you lose any point in the whole thing. Just stick it in the power bank. It's fucking huge. But I, I don't want us to get the power bank. It's one of these things where no one's asking for it, but China are going to push it. So I think everyone's going to have a go at this shit. Who? Now. Somebody tell me, please. Who the fuck? Who brought this out in like 2016, 17 with the corner off? Somebody will get it. Oh they yeah, were, there was a there was a they, prominent one a while back. Yeah, no one Chinese. Else it then. No. Because it was a pain in the ass, and the battery didn't last any time. Yeah. Has it got, if it's got like three C, I mean, it'll charge quite fast. But still, it do head in. Yeah. yeah. That wouldn't even last you. It's not even a pub model. I'm not even going to say it because you'd be it'd go twenty five watts. It'd go so quick. I also think a good another aspect I look for in a pub mod is not something that won't catch the eye as such. Mm-hmm. And it's very gaudy. It's very. Like it that. Gonna ca- that, yeah, that that's a catch. pub mod. That, yeah, that won't catch. Have it, yeah. yeah. Whereas that other one, that will have better battery because it's cylindrical. Yeah. Because there's an 18650 in it. We all know that. That's what the fuck is in here. Yeah, it's They've just bought yeah. just 18650 in a board. But the stupid thing is, you're quite right. Because the last thing, when you're in a pub, the last thing I'm. I know what I do for a living. I'm not stupid. But even now, I have no interest when somebody strange you starts talking to me. It's quite fucking irritating, especially if you're if I'm out with my missus and someone oh, goes. Oh, sour in air. Sour in air, yes. And it's in, the Adrian. Comments, it's in the comments on the Instagram post that we're looking at. Oh, was it really? <laughs> Adrian, thank you as well. You fucking nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Vapor Swaggins posting his favourite thing to suck. Mm. Yeah, well, I like boobs. Um, <laughs> You it's were, universal. You were are back. You were about this. This is the age loss. Age loss P one pod mod. This is kind of one of these. Uh, one of the well, one of these. You know, with the old tank, tank into. Oh, okay, a, that's very in right now. Tank into a bucket type of things. Uh, they're going with that. What I will say. Is, I don't hate that though. That's actually not that bad. Not, not bad, bad looking, is it? Not no, terrible right. looking. And it's you well. And so it will it be work. good coil heads because they yeah. be they've probably stuck the crown four coils in there or crown five or whatever we're on now. If they've done that, it'd be great. Why do they always use that fucking like tan leather as the promotion? It look that looks like something of Back to the Future Three. Yeah, but... there'll be a normal black level on. Yeah, just use that. Fine. So, I mean, that'll be that'll be pretty good. That I'm pretty sure it'll be eighteen six fifty or twenty. Yeah, eighteen six fifty. It says. Um, yeah. Uh, it'll be f- that'll be fine. That will be fine. <laughs> Terry Murphy's fine. called that um, Surin Air thing, like the iPhone of vaping, which is true. Yeah, dead battery in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, not compatible with other stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is new from Aspire. Again, this is kind of seeing what someone else has done and having a little go yourself as well, because Inakin brought out a mod with cigarette filters. On top. Oh fuck! I remember that. Yeah, that was. A and bad now idea. Aspire have had a go as well. Um, it's almost at the point now. Who's it, what market is that for? China or something? I don't know why the fuck could do that. Uh, it's for smokers, isn't it? Smokers converting, trying to get the same sort of feel. Maybe they're trying to get the people who are using heat not burn because that looks like a heat not burn. Like if I was looking at it, if I was watching someone use that, yeah. I'd assume it was heat not yeah. burn. Yeah, it might help in countries where heat not burn is very popular. To normalise vaping in a way, but that I mean that it's going to get soggy. <laughs> like, do you want to drip it that last four days? Uh, no, it's really no. weird. But yeah, and it's going to collapse. I mean, if it get if it gets some smokers vaping, then fair enough. Uh, but it's certainly not something that our side of vaping would be particularly interested in. I don't think. Uh, but that's new from Aspire. That's coming soon, as it says on the. Uh, this is what I'm vaping on. This is the uh, the Z80 Cool Fire. This is this is this a picture of this, and it, alongside the old one, the Z50, which was the built-in battery version, smaller, um, mm-hmm. same clicky, squashy, problematic fire button. Um, 
what I would say is if you really want one of these two, the 80 is better because it's so good to have a battery that yeah, you can take yeah. out. Even if you want to charge it on board all the time, cool. But just when you want to, when you need to, it's better. Why have, they, why have they done that with the tanks that way around on the picture? They're the wrong way around. You would have done that, you'd have gone the other way. It just doesn't make any sense. Mm. That's fucking huge. <laughs> They've made it look so big by doing that. I don't like that tank. That is, is that the new fill one you've got on top? Yeah. It's any, yeah. It's any yeah I just don't get it. Um, I like I, I I don't mind the look of it when it's twenty two millimeters, but when it's blown up, it sort of just looks really podgy. Yeah, um, it doesn't be. I mean, it looks big on there. I yeah. think there's so many other. Yeah, types. exactly. Yeah, oh. it, it's not. I don't know. This that's really tricky. But I, this mod, <laughs> this model, this mod will have after this tank is finished. This will have a twenty two millimeter at on. Andy Fairchild just said, "Back in a minute. Just going to change the roach in my drip tip." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exactly Mark Todd's done it... a, uh, a review for this, the Era Pro RTA by Augus, uh, and he's put that up. This is the only picture I can find of the damn thing, uh, so sorry Mark, I've pinched your thumbnail here. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a, it's kind of a very old school RTA in a way. It kind of reminds me of the old Typhons and stuff. It really does, yeah. It reminds me of. Um, do you remember Cully's first tank? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's oh, like a mix yeah. of the both, isn't yeah, it? That yeah. blue, blue. Um, I don't really know what to do with that. Why is there so much? I'm gonna have to go and watch the review. Yeah. Why it's is a there very so European much at the bottom? Style, right? Why is there so much going on? Yeah, it's a very European style vape. Right? Is it, it like drip think, down I onto think... the wick? Yes. Yeah, it's like one of those type of feeding down. Oh, okay. Of... okay. But uh, yeah, and it's very tall. It's very tall and long and very European. Um, but it's 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 higher higher end, I think, higher endish. Uh, so maybe worth a peek if you're into that old school stuff. Um, like I say, uh, Mark Todd seems to have the world exclusive on that one. Uh, don't know where to find that. Uh, yes, so that's all the new stuff. Oh, I've got one new stuff thing. I'm going to try and get on the screen live. Okay. This, which is this, which has to be, oh shit, I can't do it without the name, you bloody idiot. Wraith. The Wraith by EVL, which is coming very soon. We did show it last, last time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. It's that he's revealing stuff. Ooh. This is what, this is what he's, whoa, 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 nearly fell into the fucking computer. Whoa, there we go. It's got Ooh. a fill port. On the side. On the side. It'll take. And that's, what, that's how you do it. You turn it upside down, do you? Turn it upside down. Open the fill port. It cannot flood because uh, when you turn the ring, it obviously closes it off. Well, it's upside down anyway. And it's upside down. But uh, it'll take any bottle like commercially available, basically. Um, and that's what John has. John has said himself. Um, <clears throat> the wraith, the wraith features a dual port, one for filling and one to allow the air to come out, so it opens up on the other side as well. Side filling mechanism which fills upside down. The reason for this choice of filling method are it's robust and secure filling with no risk of flooding the chamber. Compact design means the design does not increase the total length. That's why it's such a short tank. Large filling hole. A hole on the side of the tank allows much larger bottles to be easily accommodated. No need to remove any parts, including the tip. Not long to go, he said. Just Oh, not long to go. Yeah, I'll just show you how easy it is to put a build in. So next is going to be a build video. I do like the way John launches stuff, and he's put so much, as a vapor as well, I think he puts so much in it. Oddly, having met John, um, but not knowing it, I was, that's quite weird. <laughs> so met him at Vape Jam. I don't know who the fuck he was because he didn't have to introduce himself. Or well, he did, some a different name. D didn't he come to IVM as well? No, don't say that. It'd be really <laughs> weird. It's the oddest thing when somebody says they've met you and you go, <laughs> we've never met. You go, see you. <clears throat> uh, uh, yes, so now we need something to talk about for 20 minutes. Um, we could talk about what are we can talk about. I think if you mention it, it makes it worse, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on. Talk to me. Maserati outside. Talk to me. Uh, what the fuck is that from? Phone tracker. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell the chance. Talk to me. You got a Maserati outside. <laughs> oh, 
Callum, what are we doing vaping wise? That's what I've got. Um, I've got a proper sale. I have got, I've got a couple of new, totally new to the UK liquids coming shortly. I'm just mm. trying to work on them. One of them is a is a you real. Need some new ones in. It thanks, mate. One of them, one of them is a real retro hit, and I'm just waiting for no. uh, confirmation. No, no, no. It's a liquid that's been done. Like it, people remember from the past. I'm just trying to work on them doing that right now. I think uh, it's time for the old classics to come back. So do I. But I like, think they... like sticky toffee pudding and now we can refine them and... so much better. Yeah. I think it'd be great. Like if you someone did clean versions of the shit that um... we all used to make. Exactly. Like Coca Cola. Don't know why Spot the fuck it's bit. brown. Don't call me that. We're live. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Chili wraps. Holiday travel. What are we watching on TV? Someone said, what are you watching? Oh, we've weirdly. <laughs> Richard got me on to a couple of things recently, and I've watched them through. Uh, one of them was Startup, oh. which is on Prime at the moment. Uh, Martin Freeman. It's got like an all-star cast. Um, there's some good casting and some bad casting. Some people paid for themselves to be in it. Two of the lead characters, the producers, that's why they're in it. Oh, right. You can really start feeling that by the time you get to the third season. Yeah. <laughs> the third season is a ropey as fuck. And we're watching Save Me at the moment, which is on now. Oh, we don't have now. Heck of a character. It's a heck of a cast. It's basically everybody from... Um, fuck. It's got Kerry Godleyman in it as well. Um, everybody from Lion of Dewey. Mm. Except, the, except the two police officers, but everybody else. They're all in it. Mm. Have you tried Motherland? Which one's that? Motherland. Uh, BBC and Netflix have got it as well. It's about a mo- Yes! A I fucking told you that! I uh, told so you. So do you like it? Uh, my wife likes it more than I do. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think it runs out of steam. I think it resonates with uh, women of a certain age. No, I think it's lazy. To all those bits of episodes, you just think this didn't need to happen. The Airbnb one's a good episode. It's Mm-hmm. Um, what are you watching? What else? What are you watching? We, drama just wise? finished. We just finished. Um, I think it's called Unforgotten. Okay, that sounds like it rings a bell. Uh, it's about uh, a guy that used to be on EastEnders and a woman. Uh, it's British. It's BBC type thing. And uh, they basically they do they find bodies from like that been twenty years old or twenty do in the ground twenty yeah, years and they reinvestigate the cases. Um, so yeah, uh, but it, we, so we just finished season three, three series. But apparently they're doing a fourth. So there we go. What happens in it? So it follow. It's one murder case per series. Right. So they find a body like on the side of a motorway. They realise it's at least ten years old, and they start investigating uh. it. And they, but while you're there investigating it, you're finding out all these things from a group of people, and obviously that group of people have something to do with. Oh, what okay. Happened, I might have to double check. This. It does ring ago. a bell. Um, it's really, it's really good. Very, it's very uh, interesting. And like they obviously they, they dig up these terrible things that someone got away with, and their lives have continued in spite of this. And uh, so they sort of pick away at these people until they. Uh... Have you watched? Have you watched Kate Winslet in? I Mare? haven't got Now TV. No, it's not on Now TV, is it? It's Sky in it. Sky and Now TV. Oh bollocks! Sorry. Um, we, uh, we, I've made a pledge to only have two streaming services at once. Oh, sorry, it's because there's a there's currently an offer on Now TV. That's why I know this because it costs me one pound a month for two months. Then you can cancel it. That's yeah, how we've got Now yeah. TV. We had Now and then we got Prime instead. Yeah, but Prime and Netflix we've got. Go for the offer two quid. You might no, as well. no, no, but they all have these offers. I turn to stick with my rule. I turned down Disney Plus for free for six months. It's fine. Yeah, well, um, yeah, Fargo but we season quite like four. Superhero stuff. Fargo season four. We've started Fargo. Uh, we've watched the first two episodes. Chris Rock is surprisingly okay. But Fargo's very good. I've heard. Yeah, I thought this is season four. It's got um, Chris Rock. In it. I've just finished that Clarkson thing. Clarkson's farm. What the fuck? This mod just vibrated. What was that? Yeah, it does that. For what? Uh, it was the weirdest to, thing. It vibrates every something like fifty vapes or something. What's a twat and fucking feature scared the shit out of me? It's just to keep so you can keep one eye on how much you're vaping. 
Don't need to. <laughs> no, no, it's a shit feature. Um, Mrs. D is watching. Just finished Clarence's is... farm. Anyone, so... anyone that hasn't checked it out yet, go and check it out. Brilliant, brilliant. Does program. he die? Does he die? In it? Super fascinating. Does he Farming die? Farming is really tricky. Does he get killed? Uh, yeah, he dies twice. Just tell me what time stamp and I'll watch it. Uh, no, he doesn't know. It's a shame. Uh, it's a tw- it's literally fo- following him farming, be- starting getting into farming, starting farming uh, for twelve months basically. Uh, and it's but, but farm wow farming's brutal. He doesn't give a fuck. He went for Brexit. He's a dickhead. I don't like him at all. Maybe drowns his own. Piece. Yeah, it's it's uh, what I would say is unless you literally can't stand him. I can't. That's it. That, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, but if 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 you can't stand him, don't bother. But if you're a bit on the fence with him, it's not the Clarkson that you would know from Top Gear and Daily Mail rants and stuff like that. Uh, it, it, the whole thing is incredibly humbling because it's so difficult. And there's a lovely lovely group of people around him in it and stuff. So, I uh, Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Really fascinating to find out about all the I could never get over the Stuart Lee stuff. quote of Jeremy Clarkson, which is, he doesn't mean what he says because nobody has a controversial opinion to a... To a um, uh, fuck! What's it the is, word? He is a character. Is, yeah, he is, is a character. Playing a character. Yeah, he's just gone over the top of it so many times. He just think, you're a silly twat. Shit, all that. Him, I don't think he's thick. I, I think he just is a twat. Um, somebody else mentioned a program that's quite good. We've watched. Well, I've watched every crime drama you can think of. I've seen it or tried it. If it's got anything to do with aliens, I jumped out. I'll show you a picture of this unforgotten. You'll instantly know you've seen it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um... Fucking hell, that didn't take any time at all. Below Deck, I've never heard of that. Motherland is funny at times. Yeah. It is. Yes. Um, sorry, yeah, you should. it would have been easier if you'd have said, um, what else is he from with his wife? EastEnders. He's from everything, isn't he? Um, he did that. What, uh, what, was the, what was the Asian the sketch, sketch show? sketch show, yeah. Yeah, I can't think what it's called. Goodness gracious me. Yes, that's the fella. With his wife, she was also in his dentist as well. Sanjeev Baskar. That's it. Yes, I've seen him. He plays a coroner, doesn't he? Or something? In this, or is no, he a they're, cop? they're both two both cops. detectives. Two cops. She's always a police woman in everything. Yeah. Lie to me is good. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Uh, so we haven't. We don't know what we're watching next. We'll just finish that. It's hard trying to recommend stuff because you want to get now TV and then watch that. I'm gonna to have to yeah, go. Home we again. might if we literally can't find anything. We might switch. Two quid. Two quid for two months. Then no, just watch I'm not it. Getting on two streaming services because this is the problem, isn't it? It's no problem. Just do that. I'm gonna go through my, my list. Oh, uh, we've got Fargo. Um, oh, fuck, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a couple of new ones on Netflix. There's one called Sweet Tooth, and there's one called Summit and Bone, Dagger and Bone, or something. Yeah, I wasn't sure about Sweet Tooth. That's quite out there, isn't it? Did you watch the Utopia, the American and British version? No. Quite good. They they do work. The Utopia, I'm sure there'll be some fans on um, here. Oh, White Lines, have you seen that? Yeah. On, I think that's very good. Did you watch The Haunting of Hill House? There's like three series. Kumar's at number 42. Kumar's at number 42. What that was, that? was that? That, that was, was the after, same thing. It? Yeah, it was after you. Uh, this is the sh- yeah that's what I'm watching oh and I've been watching conf- I've been watching serial killer stuff we'll do a TV do. thread on Monday and people can give me some yes I think it helps especially at the moment when there's not really a lot you know people aren't working or whatever do you know what I found out the other day that I haven't had a day off oh here we go I uh, just had Nick if you want to put an order and do it now because I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday it's my first actual thing that's not a bank holiday time off since last September apart from every Wednesday afternoon Some, I don't even do that because they keep changing my wife's hours so oh, well, okay. oh. uh, yes yeah. so so I've got we're in London Londinium for Monday Tuesday Wednesday getting the do? train eco-friendly what going uh, we're going to uh, we're going to a You're getting the diesel train Steam train, Suffolk, isn't it? Are you getting a steam train? No, we're getting the fucking electric train. Pete. Electric train? Yeah. I know you've not got them up north. You wait. They're crazy. You think nah, it's imaginary. I want a picture of this train. Um, we're going to comedy clubs. We're going to indoor golf. 
I found out my friend works security at indoor golf. That's um, where you play against a big screen. No, it's a crazy golf indoors, but there's a oh, bar. Crazy golf indoors. No, no, it's not. Crazy golf outside. Well, it's it's crazy golf it's indoors. It's common for go- crazy golf to be inside. Shall I tell you what the name is, and then you'll be into it? Go on. It's called Swingers. Swingers. There's two. One in the West End, one on Oxford Street. There's a there's a bar. They sell tacos. You could street booed. Oh, brilliant. Love it. And you can play golf indoors. Where in London are you going? Uh, we're staying by Tower Bridge. And then we'll go everywhere from there. Um, it's all going to be food. Basically, I like food. So the whole thing, it's my 40th birthday next week. And so it's all about... And we go to the Ivy. Food and booze. Actually, we did look at it. The prices aren't that bad. I've, well, just don't... I've been... Have you? I've not. I've, not, I've never. I, 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 it, it. It was fine. But when I went, the late great Victoria Wood was in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. But they've got a celebrity room where you don't get to eat unless you're a celebrity. Where are you? Sorry, Stuart's just said where he's staying. We're just we're staying at the we're staying at the Hilton near Tower Bridge. That's where we're staying. Very cool. Very cool. Um. Yeah. So comedy clubs, food, booze. Um, I've got this really weird thing that um, it's a it's a disability that's not recognised yet, but it should be. I have a thing called long body, tiny legs, and uh, I think it's actually a class in the Paralympics. And uh, yeah, my wife bought see, yeah. my wife bought me some shirts because I've got stupendously long arms and a stupid long body and tiny legs. So I, she's bought me a load of. She bought me a few shirts because I can only really wear them if they're kind of custom. Because if they Short fit sleeve. my arms, yeah, then but then everybody thinks I'm wearing muscle t shirts. I mean, this is just a normal t shirt, it just doesn't end where I want it to. It's just a normal t shirt. I didn't buy it with a short sleeve, I've got stupidly long arms. So, anyway, I've got shirts, shirts coming. My mother has bought me a fishing rod for my birthday, which oh, I'm quite happy with. I fancied a new fishing rod, so I've got that. So I've been an old man. My dad has bought me the same thing he buys me every year. Fuck all. Um, <laughs> he'll have forgotten it until the day. Yeah. And then he'll ring me and ask Father's me if it's my birthday. Soon. I bought him. So you can return uh, the favour. No, because I never do that to people. So there is a single malt, 20 year, on the table in a box for him. I forgot my brother's birthday in December a few years ago. And he waited all the way till my birthday in May. Right. And then to say, I've not got Yorkshire, you didn't get me out. Oh, that's good. I like it though. It's good. I don't, it's not. That's a, that's the work of a twat. Yeah, my dad forgets every year. He'll ring me on my birthday and ask me if it's my birthday. That's what he does every year. He'll go hello. Oh, hey, all right, Dad. On the subject of holidays, mm-hmm. because it has, it's come up in chat, and you were talking about your trip yep, yep, to yep, London. Yep. How are you feeling about actually going on a plane this Can't year? Can't wait. This year. I'm going. I'm you are get going on, on a plane this year. Still, you still think you? Yep, I am. Yep. Mm. Cornwall, We've actually, we actually decided the other week um, that Glasgow. No, flying to Glasgow. Basically, as soon as it clears, my wife's holding holiday. Um, we I'm I, I'm holding. Yeah, but all uh, the places saving. you want to go. Well, soon, but that's it. But as soon as right it, in the midst of it, though, aren't they? They're not. We are, and that's why they won't let us in. <laughs> Yeah, but it's Sri Lanka and stuff, it's not looking... I mean, like India um, particularly bad, isn't it? Yeah, but um, Thailand, Vietnam, they've already they, they've locked down properly every time it's gone, and we haven't. But at the moment, there's a two-week quarantine in Thailand. Um, if they clear that and they go with a international double vaccine thing, then we can go. And it looks like it might be September, October, November, but we should be able to go. And we're going to clear and go for three weeks. Because um, not been away for two years, so I don't really care. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. How about you? I know you've got you're going, aren't you? We uh, you've got we, a whole British holiday. We, we booked a cottage in Whitby, Whitby in between Whitby and Scarborough that we always book. Um, we already booked it ages ago, uh, so we always do that holiday and usually an abroad one. And we're just not going to do the abroad one this year. Uh, oh yes, because it's different. You got kids and there's school and stuff. And we, I don't. We it's don't just no. I I just I think if possible, no, it's probably best not doing it. 
uh, at the moment, at the moment, and it's like we, I mean, the summer, the school holidays are right upon us. It's five weeks. Yes. So like we, so it's not like we can wait till September, October. No, no, absolutely. That's what I mean. That's why I, I do. I think you've done. That's the perfect thing. Um, I was just looking in the chat. I was just going to ask a weird question in the chat. My it's a bit dad. Of a so we need to wrap up. Yes, true. My dad got into an argument with my brother the other day in quite a brilliant way. But my it was an act, my brother was moaning that he hadn't seen my dad in a few weeks because they don't live that far apart. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Why? Well, why don't you pop around on Saturday?" And he said, "I can't. I'm busy." And he said, "Oh, well, you don't make any time for me." And my dad said because i didn't even think it's just you know you kind of just get on with your life and this whole thing has been a fucking nightmare he said i haven't seen your little brother in two years which is true when it gets to by the time it gets to september i won't see my own dad in two years because we were supposed to see him we got back from sri lanka and they shut everything down obviously we locked down my dad's 74 this year and um he's got angina and it just didn't make any sense to be running around everywhere uh, I'm I'm really conscious of that. I ring my parents every third day. Yeah, I speak to them, but I haven't seen them. Yeah, no, but, not... uh, as a sort of to make up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I ring my I talk to my mum every Wednesday and every Saturday, and I talk to my dad, but he rings me and talks nonsense. But I don't. But I just meant it's an odd thing to think no, I haven't my seen my dad. dad have completely switched roles. Like my dad will chew my ear off for half an hour. And oh, my, really? My mum knows I don't really want to talk to her, so she keeps it short and sweet. <coughs> my dad will be working from here. A uh, week after next, he rang me two days ago and said, can I work from your house? And I said, well, if you want to. Uh, and then I totally forgot my wife's off work. <laughs> so I said, when she got home, I said, oh, my dad's going to stay. And she went, that'll be some company. And I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy. Luckily, he's quite a nice old man. But he'll be in this cabin for till um, every day from nine till five, coding on this computer. Nice. But it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy. I, I do hope, um, <laughs> for fuck's sake, go see Dad. No, he's married to a cunt, so I don't go and see my dad. He normally comes to see me, but he can't do that, sadly. That's that's his affliction. His He would register in the um, Paralympics as having a cunt wife, which is a definite disability. Oh, um, Brits abroad, no, it does. Right. That'll do. That'll do. Thanks Thank for, you for very watching. much. We are back next week with a sexy guest. We're with a guest. sexy guest. A man. It's a man, but a very sexy man. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, no, you're right to, to do that with your hands because next week we have a sexy guest who's a man, a male sexy guest. So do join us for that next week. Thanks for watching. Smash a like button and we'll see you in the group, the Facebook group. Uh, this all this day, weekend, every this day. weekend, all the time. Uh, so see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.